Hello friends, reads patch notes, only to forget them whenever he queues for a game here, bringing you another Dota 2 video on behalf of Dota Alchemy. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at 7.24, which was hastily released after the conclusion of the Leipzig Major. Uh, so here we have the general changes. Heroes now have a dedicated neutral item slot. A maximum of one neutral item can be equipped on your hero. This is something I'm really excited about because... I felt like the value of net worth, which I mean, it's gold, it's currency, right? It's supposed to, it's supposed to represent some sort of value. Uh, the value of net worth was almost nothing in the previous patch, seven point two three, with the letters, the letter patches, just because you'd have all these neutral items, and and if you had an extra item. It would just mean that, it, like an extra item that you actually bought with gold, such as a BKB, that would just mean one neutral items on the ground and fountain, and the enemy team doesn't have one on the ground and fountain. Like, net worth didn't mean anything. So this is really good in terms of just having Dota be a balanced competitive game. I'm very glad that they changed it to be like this. Uh, so now we still have the interesting factor, the excitement factor of picking up a random cool neutral item, but now we can only have one. So I, I definitely like this change. Uh, there's now a neutral item stash instead of in the fountain. It was pretty weird to just drop all of the garbage on the fountain floor. It felt kind of sloppy, uh, which makes sense. It's a brand new patch. They had no idea what people were going to do with items. Uh, so now we have a neutral item stash. This is good. Uh, Right-clicking on an item will basically give you a new UI where you can move it between your stash, your courier, uh, and, and things like that. So it'll, it'll show the state and location of all other items that have dropped, which is great because sometimes it's like, okay, didn't we get a spider leg somewhere? Oh, some morons keeping it in their stash so nobody's using it. You know, so this is, this is good. Uh, neutral items can now be teleported to your neutral item stash at home through a right-click context menu from your backpack or your neutral slot. That's really convenient because I feel like with how goddamn slow the couriers are, sending the courier out and dropping an item in the fountain was pretty tedious, but it was something that was necessary because you, as, as like a carrier, generally a core player, you'd be farming the jungle. You'd get so many goddamn items and you wouldn't want to use them. You'd pick up some broom handle on like a ranged hero and you just don't care for it. So what do you leave it on the ground? You waste the time of your courier and potentially get it killed because it's so slow. Like it, it felt a little clunky. So this is, this is definitely great. Uh, backpack slot count reduced from four to three to make up for the neutral slot that we now have. Neutral item drop count per tier has been increased from three to four. So they basically just increase the chances of the neutral item drops, presumably because like, just give them to people. We only have one slot for the items anyway. Uh, ancient neutral drop rates are now three times higher. This makes so much sense. I mean, ancients are a different type of creep than regular jungle creeps. So it didn't make any sense to me that I can kill a camp full of kobolds or I can kill three giant dragons that are beating my ass and the dragons have the same chance of dropping as like the 50 kobolds that, span that, that spawn in one camp. So this is... This is great. I think this makes a lot of sense. Next, we have removed shrines. I think this is pretty great because they added so much stuff in 7.23. And uh, I'm a huge fan of the idea that, like, I, don't get me wrong. I really love the fact that Dota has all of these patches. I think it keeps the game fresh. I think it's something that has made the game survive for so long. And uh, it's really fun. It's just really fun to play a new patch. It feels like Christmas. You know, you're like opening gifts. You don't know what's going to happen when you're playing a game on a new patch. Uh, but with that being said, if we're going to keep adding stuff to Dota, we need to also remove stuff. Just because I have a lot of real life friends who play Dota, they come back, and they, they play one game and they don't want to play. There's so much stuff. There's like new crazy matchmaking tokens they need to earn. There's two different types of matchmaking. Uh, there's these items that are randomly dropping, 63 or whatever new items that they need to remember. There's outposts. There's shrines which didn't exist. There's Bloodthorn and all these other new items, Nullifier. So it's really confusing for people. So I, I really like the addition of stuff just to keep things fresh. But I think if we're going to add a bunch of things, we need to remove it. So I, I really do like the fact that shrines were just removed because outposts are now uh, in the primary jungles, as we can see, see here. So outposts were moved to the primary jungles. The vision was reduced because now that they're in the jungles, that'd be a little bit uh, too broken. And then the outposts now start as owned by the respective team. So now we can TP to them in the laning phase. Uh, rewards will still happen in the 10-minute mark. So now it's more about like control the two jungles which makes makes a lot of sense the map's definitely going to feel a little bit smaller especially without the shrines uh, and outposts as well so just at the tree layout near the map edges uh near the previous outpost areas i'll be interested in seeing exactly how that is maybe there's some new juke paths in there for like off laners or safe laners uh, move the medium camp in the dire primary jungle to a nearby location 
uh, Diary Primary Jungle. Okay, I'm not exactly sure where that refers to. Uh, maybe that's like the, or moved A Medium Camp. Maybe that's like the mid camp. I guess I'll have to check that out because it just says A Medium Camp, not like there's one of them. Lane Bounty Ruins have been moved to the Secondary Jungle. So now we're not going to have them just in the lanes where you can dip over without taking some, suffering some sort of consequence and picking up a Bounty Rune. Uh, so this is interesting. So if it's in the Secondary Jungle, then that means it's... Uh, I, I believe they mean that's like where the secret shop would be. So that's going to favor the offlaner to pick up that rune. Uh, maybe I'm mistaken on that, but that's that's pretty cool because I'm an offlaner. Removed all GPM talents. Honestly, these felt pretty broken in the same line of reasoning that the XP talents were broken and that the uh, respawn time talents were broken. It just adds this factor to the game for these heroes that uh, is is pretty inherently overpowered. I think move speed is also something that was like that, but then they nerfed all of them into the ground and uh, removed a lot of them. So uh, added Void Spirit and Snapfire to Captain's Mode. That'll be interesting to see how that pans out. I think those are both incredibly good heroes. Hero Respawn Time has been increased in the early levels. So instead of six seconds at level one, it's now doubled in 12 seconds. So now suiciding to towers and dying early on in the laning phase hurts you way more. So that that's interesting. So kills are definitely going to be more important. Buyback cost has been changed so now that it's its base is higher and then the uh the the growth formula is is lower so essentially supports it's going to cost you more to buy back so sorry supports as if it wasn't uh, hard enough for you so courier death no longer disables the passive gold income that felt kind of wonky uh courier bounty has been increased though to make up for this courier respawn time so it's like you know just as valuable to kill them uh courier respawn time has been changed from 50 uh plus seven okay so now they take a little bit longer to respawn as well in the earlier levels uh courier movement speed has been increased a lot of people were complaining about that the early especially if you're a support and your courier is not getting levels man that thing moves slowly it is it is pretty sad uh courier can no longer plant wards at level 15 courier can no longer use items level at level 25 this goes back to the the convolutedness of the game when you when you introduce all of these elements to it it's it feels really weird to practice using sheep sticks and things like that on couriers when there's already all of these other elements to the game that we need to know because it's a complicated game. So it's just tedious, and I'm glad that they re I'm glad that they removed. It's a cool idea, and sure, I think it would work if Dota wasn't already so complicated. But that's the thing: is a game mechanic can be good, and if you're throwing it on top of these other game mechanics that are better, well, it kind of dilutes everything. Uh, and and you know, why not just keep the good game mechanics? Uh, implemented custom UI for charge-based abilities rather than using bus. That's good. That that just uh, quality of life. Uh, melee attacks now have bonus range against observer and sentry rewards. And then tier 5 items now drop at 60 minutes. So we can see the item adjustments below. Okay, so Ironwood Tree now drops the full item. I hated the idea of like buying items, the, the recipes. That felt really weird. So this is cool. Uh, that definitely makes this item quite good. Uh, Arcane Ring, the intelligence has been increased a little bit. Oh, nice. I got a wheel spin. Thanks to whoever sent that to me. Uh, Iron Talon no longer has the Quell passive, but it gives you uh, 15 attack speed. So that makes it better for fighting and a little bit less good for, you know, killing creeps. Uh, Keen Optic, Mana Regen has been increased, which is surprising because that's already quite a good item, I think, for supports specifically. Uh, Mango Tree, the Vision has been reduced. Mangoes now fall a little farther out, so it makes it obvious that, hey guys, there's a Mango Tree sitting in these trees here. Poor Man Shield, the Damage Block has been increased, even for ranged heroes. Wow, that's surprising. 20 range, twenty block for range. I mean, I guess that it, half the heroes in the game are ranged. If you get this with a bunch of ranged cores that are agi, it does feel really sad. Uh, Trusty Shovel, the health has been reduced a little bit. The the active on this is so good, this item's still broken. Uh, Ocean Heart, the mana regen has been increased, basically back to what it was before. I think maybe one point less. But this is great. It feels like the Ocean Heart is one of the crappiest tier 1 items. Dragon Scale, the afterburn damage has been increased, which is surprising because I think that's pretty good. Uh, and th remember, this works on towers, so this is quite good. Clumsy Net, the cast range has been reduced significantly, but it no longer pierces immunity on yourself. So if you're like a pangolier and you use this, you're not just going to sit in your role, which sometimes can be a good thing. Uh, Essence Ring now triggers, or sorry, now uh, increases current slash max health directly and is not considered a heal. So it just doesn't get amplified. So it's a bit of a nerf. Vambrace now drops the full item and it can be tread swapped. Well, Vambrace swapped, I suppose. That's cool. That's interesting. I think this item is going to be really good because that's, that's obviously, I mean, it's it's like two wraith bands or two null talismans, so it's it's like a thousand gold worth of worth of value that just that just straight up drops. Uh, so that's that's a good item. I think a lot of people thought that item was quite good before. 
Uh, Vampire Fang spell life still has been reduced. Don't think that's the biggest. I mean, I suppose people were saying that's really broken on Bristleback. That's kind of like a Reddit thing, but I don't know. I don't think it's that great. Uh, Enchanted Quiver no longer works with Wukong's command. I don't know why it did in the first place. Probably a bug. The bonus magic damage has been increased because people don't really like this item that much. Orb of Destruction, one of the best items in the game. The slow has been reduced. A lot of people think this is one of the best items in, in Dota currently, so it's it makes sense that it gets nerfed. Craggy Coat, I think this is an overrated item. It's basically just a plate mail that screws you over in terms of attack speed, but I got nerfed because people are saying that it's good. I think Bulldog rated it really highly, but he's an offlaner, so take that with a grain of salt. He's also Bulldog. Uh, Mindbreaker, silence duration has been reduced. Everybody doing the, doing the tier list for items, they rated this quite highly, so this is a, a much-needed nerf, I think, because the passive damage that it gives and the attack speed is already quite good. Telescope, nerfed a little bit. The attack range bonus is reduced. I love this item. I still think it's way too good for a tier 3 item. Repair kit, uh, broken item, no longer gives multi-shot, so it's not going to clear creep waves. I think this does make it significantly worse. However, the HP regen makes it better for defending if you actually have heroes up, and it's better for defending if you are defending like a Rax or something like that because the racks didn't get multi-shot anyway. Have a camera, base damage increased a little bit. Kind of bad item, but we'll see. Maybe maybe if they keep buffing it. Uh, Flicker, move speed has been increased. I think this item is really good. 40 move speed is an incredible amount. So this is, uh, yeah, this is this is looking pretty good. Uh, Magic Lamp, the health thre threshold is now 20% uh, instead of 15%. I still think this is a dog item just because 300 health healing at the time of the game where you get tier four items is not that great. Apex, thanks to that Morphling with 1,000 damage, uh, Apex now gives you plus 75 of your primary attribute instead of a percentage. Fusion Rune, straight up removed. They seem to be removing a lot of these consumables. Uh, and this this is also just one of those things, you get a Fusion Rune, you kill the right enemy, you pop it, and then it, the game's just over. So it does it does feel kind of lame, especially now that these are at 60 minutes instead of 70. Uh, Ballista attack range has been reduced pretty greatly. I haven't seen this yet, so I don't know how broken this really was, but now it gives you plus 30 Pure damage on, on every hit. That's that's pretty cool. Force boots. Cooldown has been increased from 6 to 9 seconds. Uh, move speed has been reduced because, Jesus, all of these late game boots give you so much move speed. And then the push distance has been reduced. So it looks like they're just nerfing all of these because you get them at 60 minutes now. Uh, X Machina is now reset cooldowns uh, from 30 to 45 seconds. Still really good. The armor has been re reduced from 25 to 20. Remember, armor scales logarithmically, so that's actually not that big of a nerf. And now has a 100 mana cost. I don't know why it didn't cost mana in the first place. Uh, Mirror Shield, 4 to 8 seconds. So it's 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 the cooldown is, is half as good. That's uh that's quite a big nerf. I still think this is probably one of the this was considered one of the best neutral items in the game, if not the best. So this being nerfed makes a lot of sense. Uh, pirate hat attack speed is has been reduced from 250 to 150. This is another one of those things that scales logarithmically, kind of. So it's it's um. It's not a huge nerf. And then no longer drops a bounty rear, but you steal 300 gold from here as you kill. That, that's pretty cool. Uh, but then again, at 60 minutes, do you really care that much about stealing gold? I think everybody's going to be six slotted. Seer Stone, the cast range and vision has been reduced from 450 to 350. Slight nerf. Uh, Phoenix Ash, just straight removed. Desolator, this one's pretty nerfed. 100 damage to 75. And then the armor reduction has been reduced from 12 to 10. And then the duration has been re reduced from 15 to 7. I believe they did that with the regular Desolator as well. Woodland Striders, uh, the health region has been uh, decreased to 50 from 70. The tree duration has been reduced. So that's just the duration that the trees actually stay active, uh, like like alive. So that's, um, I mean, 60 seconds is a long time. I, I'm surprised it lasted 60 seconds uh, just, just before. Uh, Fallen Sky now has the same blink rules with regards to damage, uh, but now it drops the full item, so you no longer have to spend, like, what, 4,800 gold in order to buy this. Trident is still just a recipe, and uh, but still very good. All the bonuses has, have been reduced from 33% to 30% instead. Slight nerf, because I think this item was just insanely good with the amount of stats that it gives you. I mean, it gives you everything. It's ridiculous. Book of the Dead changed the from three sets of necro units to two sets with 50% more health and damage. Uh, this might this might be better. This might be one of those things that like turns out to be very broken. The strength and intelligence has been reduced from 35 to 30. I mean, it's, it surprises me that the, this gives such good stats despite um, despite having such a such a crazy active. Enchanted Mango, Mana Restore has been reduced. People are buying so many mangoes these days. People are doing like six mangoes, one tango. Quelling Blade no longer kills wards because you can now right-click them. Tango no longer kills wards. Vlad's Mana Regen reduced. Voidstone Mana Regen increased. Perse uh, Perseverance Mana Regen increased. So Vlad's is still quite good, I would say. Uh, Battle Fury, the damage has been increased. The Cleave has been increased against heroes, but the Creep Cleave has been reduced. So they 
it seems like they want people to pick up Battle Fury to cleave heroes these days. I mean, just makes Sven broken. I don't know. Uh, Maelstrom, Chain Lightning damage has been reduced. Everybody's going Maelstrom, so this makes sense. Necronomicon, buff the mana regen a little bit. It looks like they're giving a lot more items, a lot of mana regen, which is good, because I think it's a very scarce resource right now. Uh, Desolator, armor reduction, duration has been reduced. Honestly, it's lasted a really long time, forever. So it 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 was one of those things that was just in the game, because nobody really thought it was broken nobody really looked at it but now that people are picking up desos on like lone true bears and ta is owning you kind of take another look at the item like okay is this really okay uh radiance became flow and druid damage has been reduced blade mail damage has been increased silver edge damage has been increased mask of madness damage increased armlet of merdigian damage increased crystallis damage increased the crit damage has been reduced though daedalus the crit damage has been reduced as well and the damage has been increased so they're just giving a bunch of people raw a bunch of uh, items raw damage uh, Bloodthorn damage has been increased to 68 to 75. Critical, critical Strike reduced from 175 to 160. And the Soul Rank Critical Strike has also been reduced. So reducing crits, but increasing damage. So the average damage stays the same, but it's just more consistent, which is interesting. Ice Frog likes to do this sometimes. I'm not entirely sure why. Next, we get to the fun part. We get to the hero changes. So we have Abaddon, uh, base damage reduced by 2, makes him a little crappier in the early game. Mist Coil cooldown increased from 4.5 to 5.5, makes him a little bit less good at saving people in fights, keeping people alive. Alchemist strength gain has been increased from 2.4 to 2.7. I honestly think with the one neutral item slot, this hero is definitely going to come back too, just generally speaking, because the 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 issue with net worth not being a factor isn't a thing anymore so this hero being able to farm so much net worth well of course it's going to be more valuable uh, ancient apparition ice blast kill threshold increased i think they they've been increasing like this hero's been getting minor buffs just non-stop the so the level 10 talent is now 175 chilling touch cast range which I'm, i don't think i don't think it's that good i don't think at level 10 on a you're running around chilling touch hitting people that's more of like a laning stage thing i think if you're walking up to chilling touch hit people for what is it 100 and something damage then it's it's probably that's probably a little risky uh, axe move speed increased by five and this is on a hero that's already pretty fast and has a move speed modifier with his battle hunger and then a strength gain increased i think axe is actually going to be pretty good these are these are cool changes to him uh bounty hunter base armor increased a little bit brewmaster base armor increased a little bit this is already a good hero uh bh is also a decent hero i think people are going ags and doing kind of meme build like that it's uh, it's one of these niche heroes that could be really broken Chaos Knight, uh, Reality Rift, Armor Reduction has been increased on every level by one. Uh, Phantasm, Incoming Damage has been reduced again. And then we have the uh, level 20 talent has been changed from gold per minute because they removed all of those to 10 second Phantasm duration. Not bad. Definitely not bad. Uh, I believe this hero still kind of suffers from the same the same issue. So we'll see how the meta changes. If the meta changes to just favor like really kill uh, kill hungry kind of safe laners then maybe uh, chaos knight will come back into the meta chen the gpm talent was changed to hand of god cooldown don't think that's that great uh clink's burning army base damage has been increased to a flat 28 percent a little bit of a buff to him he's already pretty decent he's a, another niche hero so not bad not bad uh crystal maiden gpm has been changed to negative uh, two second crystal nova duration or sorry cooldown uh kind of a side grade i think a lot of these are going to be side grades the gpm talents were really good so most will be side grades or nerfs dark seer surge speed is just straight 70 percent, and then the duration is three four five six uh, that's pretty cool i think I, I think uh with how it works like everybody not having boots in the early game then we all get boots at the same time like really people are if you can get away from somebody for three seconds with 70 percent move speed then they're just running at the same speed as you roughly they're not gonna be able to catch you so i think this is actually a a buff to Dark Seer. Dark Willow. Uh, the GPM talent was changed to Bedlam Damage. It's a 15 talent. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, Death Prophet. Base armor increased by one. Base move speed increased by one on a hero that's already pretty fast and likes to build move speed items. Uh, Spirit Siphon. The charge restore time was reduced by 15. That's a big deal. That's a pretty big deal. So when you use it early on in the laning stage, it's not, it's not hurting you when you get those extra charges of it. Like sometimes you would use the first charge and then you don't have a charge until like three minutes into the game or something like that like that you don't have two charges to go for a kill or something so it, it felt pretty bad so i think this is a pretty good change to to her disruptor thunderstrike mana cost has been increased this hero is incredibly strong right now static storm scepter scepter no longer gives two seconds extra duration uh 20 talent is no longer gpm it's kinetic field grants true sight that's pretty cool that's really cool i think a 20 gpm talent on disruptor i mean you should have the ags by that point so it's not it's not that great but true sight man that's that's pretty cool doom strength gain has been reduced scorched earth move speed has been reduced quite a bit 
to to only nine percent at level one, and then Devour has been nerfed as well in terms of the HP regen that it gives you. So I think Doom is still going to be pretty decent. Uh, Dragonite base move speed increased by ten, and uh, remember this is on a hero that gets move speed from the Elder Dragon form, and then that was subsequently nerfed. So five move speed bonus, uh, but ten when he's not in the Dragon form. Draw Ranger, multi-shot damage has been reduced slightly, not a big nerf to her. Earth Spirit, Stone, Remnant, uh, Charge Replenish Time. There's too much fighting in Dota right now for Earth Spirit. It really feels like his main problem is that he doesn't have enough Remnants. So this might be enough to, to help him. I think it was like just barely you didn't have enough. So this could be enough for him. We'll see. And then the 20 talent is plus 3.5 second geomagnetic grip silence. That's pretty crazy. I think that's a really good talent. That, that geez, what does that make it? What, what is that? Let me click. I have to click this and check this. So that makes it a seven second silence, man. That is crazy. AOE silence. And it goes on all of the units that are affected by your ultimate. Enigma, Malefice damage increased on every level except for one. Uh, and then the GPM was changed to Malefice damage. So <laughs> that's pretty small, I would say. Uh, so let's see. Uh, Grimstroke base int increased by two. A little bit of extra damage in the laning stage. Uh, Inkswell max damage instead of GPM. I think that's a bit of a nerf. Cast range has been increased to 175. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of cast range. And then we have the uh, 15 talent, 12% spell amp to 15%. I don't think you go spell amp unless you're like a core Grimstroke. IO Overcharge Heal has been reduced very slightly uh, in the early level and then quite a lot in the later levels. Uh, overcharge Cooldown has been increased. Honestly, I hated Lady against IO because he would just keep people 100% HP all the time. And then the 15 talent is 400 Spirits Max Distance. So I would say side grades, side grades to IO. It doesn't really change too much. Jakiro Dual Breath now does its first uh, damage instance immediately. That's great against Blink Heroes. Uh, talents, the... 400 dual breath, breath range instead of 150 GPM. At level 20, I don't think you care that much about dual breath range. I mean, I suppose you are still a team fighting hero. The slow is pretty annoying, but uh, I don't think that's a super big buff or nerf to him. Because uh, 20 GPM talent doesn't matter that much either. Juggernaut, base damage increased by 4. Base move speed increased by 5. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty big for him. It's been a while since I've seen Jug get buffs, like just straight stat buffs. This is a hero you have to be really careful stat buffing him because he has one of the best crits in the game, if not the best. And he also has uh, insane BAT. So you got to be careful with Jug. He might actually be strong. Lich, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Where are we? I saw Pudge. I don't want to spoil uh, there we are. Lich, base damage reduced by 2. Frost Blast, mana cost increased. Sinister Gaze duration has been reduced. So it just nerfs to him all around because he's getting picked in every single game. Lion, the GPM talent, is now 60 mana drain. That's dog. Next, we have Luna. Lunar Blessing now affects base armor instead of total armor. And it's been increased a little bit. So I think that's probably a nerf. Unless there's a bunch of Agi heroes. I don't know. That's a weird one. Seems like a side grade. Uh, Lycan, base int has been increased, which is great because he's so stupid, man. He summons one pack of wolves and he's just done. Uh, Shapeshift transformation time has been reduced. Pretty cool. Pretty decent buffs to Lycan. Uh, Magnus, max damage reduced. Broken hero, so this makes sense. The cleave has been reduced, uh, which means for him it's, it's actually 10% less because he gets double. And then the 25 attack speed has been changed to 20, so pretty big nerfs to mag. Mars strength gain increased, God's Rebuke slow duration increased, hero attack damage, God's Rebuke uh, has been changed from 25 to 35. Mark my words, this hero is good. This hero is already good and these buffs are great for him. Medusa base, or sorry, intelligence gain from 3.4 to 4.0 and the stone gaze bonus speed from 35 to 50. What the hell does this even do? 50% speed boost. If two, okay. If two seconds of total time ac uh, accumulated from looking at Medusa, so he's active, that will turn to stone. Okay, so it just gives it just gives her move speed. Oh, they'll have their movement speed slowed? It doesn't even say here. Am I crazy? God damn it, Valve. God damn it. Please start putting things in your tooltips. <laughs> so I guess she gets a speed boost, and then she's reducing their speed as well by 35%. Okay, interesting. Nyx Assassin, Vendetta. Bonus damage is now pure. Wow, that is cool. And the Vendetta damage has been reduced a little bit in the later levels. And then the 10 talent is 0.3 second Impale Stun Duration, which guarantees a Meteor Hammer setup. That's good. That's crazy, man. That's really crazy. This hero is going to be good. Ogre Magi, 
uh, the with 20 ignite DPS instead of GPM. That's unfortunate. Any hero who has a level 10 GPM talent that got nerfed, rest in pepperonis. Those were the best talents in the game. Uh, Omni Knight base armor reduced. Strength gain has been reduced. Purification cooldown has been increased at all levels by one second. And then the level 10 talent is no longer 90 GPM. Once again, another, another level 10 GPM hero. And now it's 10, uh, plus 10 Heavenly Grace HP regen. So this hero has been nerfed pretty hard. Uh, Oracle, instead of 120 GPM, he has one second purif uh, purifying flames cooldown. Seems kind of like a bit of, honestly, probably probably closer to a nerf. Uh, Pangolier, Shield Crash, no longer cast, er, so it casts in place while rooted, just to make make a lot of sense when it comes to like these other abilities that cast in place while rooted. So just just maintaining consistency there. Phantom Assassin, base damage has been increased by 3. Decent, especially because she spams daggers, which are based on her base damage. Uh, Phantom Lancer, the HP talent has been reduced. The 25 talent, the double, doppelganger cooldown is minus 5 seconds instead of minus 6. So now it's easier to kill. That's a pretty big deal because this hero is played entirely for the late game, which I know is crazy to play entirely for a level 25 talent, but he's one of the best late game heroes in Dota. That's one of his biggest selling points. He's impossible to kill. So just straight reducing that and giving no alternative to like, you build it in a different way and all of a sudden you can do the same thing as before. Like that's a, that's a pretty big nerf to him. Phoenix attack range has been increased. Base HP regen increased by 0 0.5, uh, which is cool because his spells cost HP. And then he has 18% Icarus dive slow, 10 GPM talent. So unfortunately that is a nerf to him, I would say overall. Uh, Puck base damage reduced. And then the 25 talent, which doesn't really matter that much because level 25 takes so long to get, is 425 winning rift, AOE and range. That's actually decent. That's not that bad. Uh, I feel like at the time you get this 25 talent, you're already six slotted on Puck anyway. So you'd just be buying people Moon Shards and stuff. This is probably a buff to Puck. So the base damage has been re reduced. That's that's the big nerf. Pudge, Dismember, Tick Rate change from every 1 to 0 0.5 seconds with the same total damage. So essentially now, if somebody cancels your Dismember between a second, it's you're going to be less likely to just have your damage be interrupted. You're going to you're going to on average get more damage on people with your with your dismember if people are going to be interrupting it, but that's such a small buff. And the 180 GPM talent is plus 1 second dismember duration. I actually like that. I think that's better than than 100 I mean 180 GPM level 20 talent, that's not that great. A lot of heroes have way more than that as as like 20 25 talents and at that point of the game you're already relatively slotted on pudge realistically you're probably like blink force things like that slotted with small items but you're still slotted and the one second dismember duration as well as the double damage uh, talent at level 25 that's gonna be pretty nice pugna base agility increased by eight wow that's a lot of base agility so that's move speed and that's armor for a hero who's already very quick Queen of Pain, Int Gain, has been increased from 2.9 to 3.4, so she's going to be right-clicking very hard. Uh, Sonic Wave damage has been increased by 40 at max level. So I think this hero is not in a bad place. Definitely not in a bad place. I have seen people play it near the end of uh, 7.23. Rubik Arcane Supremacy, the debuff amplification has been reduced just a little bit, just by 4%. Hero's still good. Uh, Shadow Demon Demonic Purge damage has been increased by 50 at all levels. Slight buff, still not probably a great hero unless like the meta permits. Uh, Silencer, talents level 15 uh, from 120 GPM to 12%. Arcane Curse Slow, that's dog. Scarath Mage, 300 GPM, is now Arcane Bolt Pierce's spell immunity. I think that's actually better. I think that's really, really good. That's crazy. Spell immunity, man. This hero's hitting so hard. So hard at that point. Slaughter, base move speed increased by 10, but Bash of the Deep has been reduced in the earlier levels. That's a big buff to Slaughter because he gets the percentage move speed from his uh, his sprint. So base move speed is ridiculous on him. That hero's pretty good. I think that hero's pretty good. Uh, Slark, Pounce, the, they nerfed the Scepter, presumably. So the Scepter range has been reduced from 1400 to 1200. I don't know why it was so long in the goddamn first place. Pounce, Scepter replenish time has been uh, reduced in the early levels, but increased in the later levels. So 10 seconds instead of eight, which is fantastic. That hero feels impossible to kill when he gets that scepter. And then the attack speed talent has been reduced a little bit. Snapfire, of course, added to captain's mode. Base damage reduced a little bit. She hits too hard. Uh, Fire snap cookie no longer works and thinks that it probably shouldn't. Kinetic field, black hole, so forth. Spectre, base HP regen from 0 to 1.5. That's pretty cool. That's pretty crazy because this hero already has a lot of effective HP because it's very hard to, to harass her down in the laning stage with the armor that she has, with dispersion, and now she has 1.5 base HP regen. Like if she can just sit there and survive, man, this hero, 
you know, she'll she'll out carry you. Uh, Spirit Breaker Bulldoze cooldown reduced to 16 seconds, and I believe he also has a talent to reduce that again. So that's pretty good. You might be able to have like a permanent bulldoze, which is nice. Decent hero. Uh, Sven Stormhammer damage increased in the early levels. Maybe we'll see some support Sven at the very least. This hero was I, I saw Sumail experimenting with that at the end of the last patch, so I think it's pretty good. But people just aren't playing it right. Warcry the self move speed bonus has been increased at all levels, 10% at level 1, that's pretty crazy. The cooldown has also been reduced, so big Sven buffs. This hero's looking pretty nice. Techies, the blast off damage is pure instead of, uh, sorry, it's not pure anymore, it's magical, which means if you have a percentage, if you, like the 25% base um, magic resistance that you have will affect that. So you're not just going to be running around killing yourself. Well, I mean, you still will because it's techies, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Level 20 talent changed from GPM to negative 28 seconds blast off cooldown. <laughs> Why is this hero so silly, man? I don't even know what to say about that. Terrorblade, move speed increased, reflection slow increased as well. Uh, so slight buffs to him. This hero is already pretty decent. Tidehunter, base int increased by two. That basically does nothing. Tinker, uh, the... GPM talent, which I think was bad, uh, was changed to two seconds March of the Machines duration. That's pretty good. That's actually pretty cool. I uh, I do like the other talent still. I think it's the mana loss, mana cost reduction. But this is this is good. That's a really good talent. That might be more broken than I think it is. Tiny nerfed pretty hard. Avalanche reduced from 1.8 to 1.4 seconds. So that's a that's a pretty crappy stun. Uh, Trim Protector, Strength Gain has been reduced very slightly. That's not that big of a deal. Nature's Grasp, Mana Cost has been increased slightly. That's not a big deal. Living Armor, Armor has been reduced uh, in the later levels, but increased in the early levels. And that also isn't a big deal because Armor scales logarithmically. This hero is still quite good. So Troll Warlord, min base damage increased by 4. So he's way more consistent hitting uh, last hits in the laning phase and so forth. Tusk, base HP regen increased by 0.5. Not bad, not bad. But his GPM was... Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So it's a 10... It is a 10 talent that was changed on GPM, which is unfortunate because that's really good. But 0.5 seconds Walrus Punch stun duration. Tusk being a good stunner is is not really something that we've we've seen before so that's that's pretty interesting he could be quite good uh, underlord level 15 talent is no longer as broken as it was with the atrophy uh, permanent damage it's six instead of seven level 15 talent 150 cast range uh, it's going to be 200 instead of 150 so they're kind of having i, I think that ca that that talent was not bad in the first place especially if you go for like the atos sort of uh, Yule's build, that's that's pretty good. But then you're not building the aura items and stealing damage and so forth. Uh, the 20 talent reduced the 70 attack speed to 60. Slight nerfs to him. Undying, fixed Helm of Dominator not working on zombies. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, level 15 zombie talent is now base damage, the zombie damage talent. Cool, cool. So Vlad's and, well, I guess it's not Vlad's anymore. Dominator will affect that. Uh, auras will affect those zombies that, that involve base damage. Uh, Tombstone Deathlust health threshold is now always 40%, but the move speed bonus has been reduced, and the attack speed uh, values have been reduced as well, so kind of inverting those values. Uh, Flesh Golem, the debuff duration is 5, in, uh, instead of uh, 5, it's 6. The duration is 30 to 40, which is pretty good. 10 second increase, that's a lot, and now 30 move speed. This is great. That's pretty good. Now, now you can use it to like run away from people. Like it's got multiple uses. Anytime you you let a hero do something that couldn't do before, you're uh, you're you know treading on on potential thin ice in Dota. Uh, Venomancer talents level ten talent is now fifteen seconds plague war duration. Wow, that's a long time. How long do these things last already? Forty seconds. Okay. Wow, that's crazy. So it almost gives you like one hundred and fifty percent of the plague ward. That's really good. Venom's insane. That might be that might be one of the best things on here. Uh, Visage Soul Assumption Gather Threshold is uh, reduced from 110 to 100, so he's getting more Soul Assumptions quicker. And the mana cost has been reduced in the early levels, increased in the later levels. Void Spirit added to Captain's Mode. Cool, good hero. Uh, Warlock Shadow Word cooldown has been reduced. I think this hero is already pretty decent. If you get like a Bassy in the laning stage, you can just spam the Shadow Word infinitely. So I think this is pretty good. Weaver, the Swarm attack rate has been improved. So that's going to do a little bit more damage. This hero is also already pretty good. And uh, Winter Wyvern, base strength has been reduced. Cold Embrace reduced the percentage heal in the all of the levels. Uh, and then the base heal has been increased. So it's a little bit better earlier. I'm surprised that they changed it to be like that because people are going for an early point in it now. And the 90 GPM has been nerfed, removed, and replaced with one percent cold embrace heal so that's uh that's a pretty big nerf witch doctor base armor increased by one 15 talent uh is now 100 maledict aoe 
that's pretty cool. That could be broken. We'll we'll see. We'll see how big that is. Uh, that could be that could be pretty effective in team fights. Anyway, that's it. That's the patch. I'm excited to go play. Are you excited to go play? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in another video.